Boston University. Billy Cameron, formerly of Kent State, now of Alumni No State University. Yes. Oh, I'm Stephanie Palazzo, the best female dodgeball player ever at Saginaw Village. <laughs> um, oh, I'm, I'm graduating now. I'm here for fun. She's just here for fun. It's uh, when I started this recording, it looked like we were about to start. It uh, does not appear that that is going to be happening just right about now, so while I realize no one's actually watching this, maybe in the future you are, I probably suggest skipping ahead to like two and a half minutes in. Maybe by then something will have happened. In the meantime, I'm going to point it at this shirtless dude over here. Shirtless dude has a name, and it is Tony. This is already a better um, commentary than last time because I have bad vision and could not tell any of the names of the people I was looking at. I got all the names. Over here we have the shoulder of a Saginaw Valley player. Gross, freshman. Pretty good. And they're off. The rush starts. Someone got hit, it looks like. Yep. His name is Barnaby. Barnaby has been hit. Birdman? Burger King. All right. Towson pushes forward. They miss. Saginaw hits a Towson player. Off to an exciting start. My co-commentator is learning the joys of the spot I selected, as you will be peppered with balls the entire time. Half of Saginaw hoping for this one ball to be thrown to them. Saginaw Valley pushes up. Towson University is sitting on the ground. Saginaw Valley pushes up. Looks like they're debating who's going to throw. John Shaw blocks. You can always tell it's John Shaw because of his hat and huge arms. John Shaw can never know that I said he has huge arms. I would like to go on record to say he has tiny little weak arms and he is a girly man. Towson throws. It's blocked. Looks like Towson's plotting. Where are they going to throw next? And the answer was right at the commentator. An ever popular option these days. Unlike the last podcast, live stream thing, one of the primary goals of this one will be to keep my fingers out of it. Captain Dreadlocks has been hit and is off the court. An almost casual throw from Saginaw Valley is blocked. And then the return throw is also blocked. Towson is pondering. Team throw, nothing happens. Some guy blocked with a throwback. A very exciting game so far. Lots of throws, lots of blocks, no catches. Apparently. I didn't know that. Six views. No likes, though. No one likes my co my commentary. I can't say I blame them. They have better taste than I do. You'll be the only one. Saginaw Valley's trying to improve their record today from one and one to two and one. 
Towson is also one and one and would love to end the day at two and one. Towson feels that they have a lot of respect they want to earn here today. And a win against Saginaw Valley would definitely do that. Would definitely help their case that they really are one of the premier clubs of the East. Would also help the East's case that they are a region every bit as good as Michigan. As James Madison has already improved today with a win against... Ooh, beautiful headshot. That was tasty. I'm personally hoping that the gentleman with the bald head gets hit, because I would really enjoy seeing how red it gets. And I'm sure the seating tomorrow, the winner of this game will definitely be in a better position, as this is a big game with lots of implications. Do you happen to know what the rankings are right now? The rankings are before the game, like before nationals. Um, uh, no, no. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Central or Grand Valley is number one. Grand Valley's one, Central's two. James Madison's probably three. So Saginaw is probably about fourth. No, I don't know. Do you have a smartphone? All right. Since we do not have the technology at the moment to figure out what the actual rankings are. It looks like Saginaw Valley is putting a very dominant performance out on the court so far. Towson is down to four players. It looks like Saginaw still has about eight or nine. Saginaw Valley showing that it really does have a very strong transition game. And it plays as a very good unit. A lot of blocking for each other. A lot of setting up the team throws. Towson down to two players. Towson down to one player. Towson down to no players.